Hey guys, so today we're gonna watch a video about Israel by an Indian person. So first of all, I have to say um, I am subscribed to his channel. I watch a lot of his live streams. I absolutely love to learn from him. Every time a person talking about Israel, I'm like getting a little bit nervous, but I think this is important for me to know what you guys think of us and how you see us. So yeah, let's start the video. How has a small country like Israel made a dominance like this, but the whole Arab world has not been successful? Well, Arab That's world a great question. We haven't really discussed Israel I mean, much until now. So let's talk about Israel. I'm always scared when people As always, are Israel, we talking about Israel. Okay. And I love the fact okay. that he's Let's go always westwards from India. Let's go to the Middle East about. and to the Mediterranean region. There we are. The Eastern Mediterranean. So this here is Israel the nation of Israel. And as you can see, every single neighboring country is its enemy. They all want Israel to we be have peace agreement gone. They want Israel them, to disappear like, yeah. from the map. They want to erase this nation from the map. This tiny little desert nation. It's not a desert nation, but yeah. So they, they all want Israel to be erased from the map. And still here it is. Israel is still there. And the question is... The question is, how is a small country like Israel able to be so dominant, but the Arab world has not been so successful? So the reason Israel has succeeded and prospered and thrived is, first of all, because of help from the West. A small country like this, with so few resources, cannot survive on its own unless it gets external help. Now, Israel has a very powerful and influential and politically active to some extent Jewish diaspora across the world, especially in the Western world, especially in the United States. So the United States has been a very strong ally of the Israelis over the over, ever since Israel was, was recreated in the 1940s. So the Americans have propped up Israel to a great deal. The British have also helped Israel. Nowadays, there are political problems with, between Israel and the U.S. Obama was very, very, uh, he was very antagonistic to Netanyahu and Israel in general. And the Democrats have usually have, of, in recent times, been not favorably inclined towards Israel. But historically, the United States has supported Israel to a great deal in terms of uh, financial support or, or military support, transfer of certain, uh, sale of certain military items, etc., and the other thing is that Israel is an extremely resourceful country. So uh, the Israelis have always had this siege mentality and you can't blame them for it because they are surrounded on all sides by enemies. They have fought numerous wars, etc. So they, basically the entire adult population of Israel is basically they are professional soldiers. They all undergo That's proper military training. They all serve as soldiers. And no, they are all ready to serve in the armed forces true. at a moment's notice. And Israel has a very powerful uh, security service, intelligence services, the so-called Mossad, yeah. and the Shin Bet, etc., which enables Israel to project power essentially at a global scale to some extent. Uh, it can target uh, forces that are, that are antagonistic towards Israel anywhere in the world. So they have proven this. They have demonstrated this time and time again. Operation Entebbe and the the abduction of uh, of Adolf Eichmann from Argentina in the 1960s or 70s, 60s most likely, etc. So they are able to project power globally, and they they are technologically very advanced. They have ensured that their their industries and, and technologies are very advanced. They have this uh, startup culture. They have this entrepreneurial culture, you know, they encourage all that a lot. And they have ensured that they develop the best technology. So these are the factors that have enabled Israel to, uh, to stay uh, independent, to stay, uh, to ward off the enemies. And let me also mention the most important factor, Israel has nuclear weapons. Israel is a nuclear, it's an undeclared nuclear weapon state. We're not talking about that. It has had that. nuclear weapons for That's many decades. It has never officially share our uh, declared this, we but may it is, not uh, have. it's an open secret. So that is uh, one of the major factors that if Israel comes under mortal threat, if it is uh, under threat of being overrun by the enemy, it will 
use nuclear weapons Maybe. as a last resort. Let's so these are the factors that have ensured that Israel not only uh, stays independent, stays uh, stays uh, secure, but also thrives. So that is the reason why Israel is doing well. And why are the Arabs not doing well? Because, well, the first thing is that the entire uh, Middle East, it's always under crisis, right? The Middle East crisis has been going on for decades. Well, it's the Western powers to some extent that have ensured that yeah, this region is always under crisis. So that they are crisis. able to project power yeah. there and interfere. People get money and, uh, for other basically, people. Uh, in crisis. Basically control the various actions of various governments by playing sides, etc. So that is one reason. And the Arab nations are essentially, basically these are artificially created nations. The borders that you see today are artificially yeah. drawn They're borders. Having, they are uh, different this was all tribes. once under the Ottoman like Empire and then under the British tribes. Empire. Every place and like various countries were controlled by tribe, various uh, Western related. powers. Like we are when the they left the region, Jacob. they drew these arbitrary boundaries. So these boundaries will change over time as like boundaries naturally do. Yeah. So things will eventually someday come to some sort of, of a balance or equilibrium. So that is the reason why the, all these Arabic countries and the basically the entire Islamic world is always divided and in a state of turmoil. This is the legacy of colonialism and the legacy of their internal divides and all that. It's a very complicated story, but to a great extent, it's been fomented well, it's also and kept going by the West. To it's a great not extent. just like Western and stuff like And this. that is also the reason why Israel has been supported so much by the West, to keep this entire Middle East cauldron boiling. Okay, so many things. First of all, um, I'm not, I don't really, okay, let me try to remember what he said. First of all, let's talk about the fact that yes the state of israel was a state of israel before this is not our first time in this i mean our nation was built and destroyed built and destroyed several times um however we are not a nation of trained soldiers that is absolutely false i know the media loves to show you guys that israeli people are always like everyone in the israel is going to the army and every israeli person knows krav maga and all this this is not True. I'm sorry for like destroying Boston your bubble or whatever. Um, in Israel, when you reach 18, you need to do something for the uh, like you know you need to either join the army or join national service or just you know there. First of all, let's start like this. There are special groups that do not need to go to the army. Um, Arabs have been chosen. Um, if you're an Arab person, you have you can choose either to go to the army, the national service, or to just you know stay at home, go to university, get more and like achieve faster goals in your life because you will not do something like this. How um okay so this first of all, people who are ultra orthodox are not most of them are not doing the army because they believe they should just stay and focus on their studies of the Torah and our ancient book. So this is another group who is not participating in the joining the army thing. Um, when we're talking about the army, um, okay, so there is the army and the national service. National service is when you just um, go in to help in hospitals, in um, a lot of, you know, places that need help. Um, because the army, this is... Um, the army and the national service, it, it, this is for the people, by the people type of thing. So a lot of people that are also a lot of people who are joining the army, I know it looks like uh, everything we're doing is just like fighting and, you know, learning how to shoot and whatever. Um, but most of the, like most of these soldiers in Israel are not soldiers that are in um, the battlefield or behind the computer because this is a really... Um, for the people, by the people, a lot of soldiers, their their service is actually to go to um, places who is with a, like a low income and stuff like this, and to educate um, children, like being a teachers and stuff like this. So Israel is not an like a nation of trained soldiers. I know this is what the media is always saying, but please, please, please talk to people talk to israelis people like i'm always telling you talk to israelis people talk to people who hate us learn from what is really happening not what um the media is showing you i know that a lot of nations um sometimes support israel just like Baharat 
didn't support Israel, now it is, maybe tomorrow you will not support Israel, this is, it doesn't matter. I know that some people think that um, as long as there is this problem of Jewish people um, in Israel so they can um, take a lot of resources and kind of rule the place and stuff. However, you keep forgetting the fact that this is um, the reason why there are Jewish people here. It's because, like he said, this is another, it's not the first time we were a country, this is like we used to be a country, we used to be a kingdom, all this stuff. We, when we celebrated Hanukkah, every time I am telling you the stories of what happened here a long time ago, way before the people of Palestine decided to call themselves Palestinians or having, like Palestine was actually a thing back then, it was not. Um, so many things uh, happened before that. Now, the reason why Israel is such a big and important thing is yes we have a lot of enemies but because this was our home for so many times we learn a lot about um i don't know maybe it's called topography that you know how the mountains look like you know how the rivers you know exactly how this place looks like yes during times you know when we had to leave this place and when we were able to come back home um the like the nature hasn't changed a lot so we still are familiar with the ground so this is another major thing that we know where to put our people we know where to put our you know how, where we can observe um the enemy and stuff like this um why we're such a, a nation that is keep evolving all the time yeah because we have so many terror attacks because so many people are trying and so many countries are trying to kill us so we're always in a fight mode. So this is why people are working so hard. This is why people are creating new stuff because, and this is also why Israel had so many, you know, new weapons and trying like stuff like this, because this in here, if you're not advanced, if you don't think ahead, you will get killed. And I'm not just saying that. This is not the first time Israel um, has faced a problem with the enemy. This is not the first time the state of Israel was being threatened by other people. Like I said, history repeat itself. This is not the first time we are doing everything. So this is why this this is why we feel like we have to keep forward and move, doing more and more stuff. Now he mentioned Arabic countries. So this is another thing that is so important for me to mention. There are Arabs, Israeli people living in Israel. This is not all Jewish nation. So this this country, this land, yes, we believe this land belongs to the Jewish people. However, people who are not Jewish are more than welcome to live in Israel. We're not saying um, if you're not Jewish, then go out. This is absolutely not what we are saying. The whole point, what we believe is that in the end, um, when we're gonna have our temple, People from all over the world will come to pray in this temple. Ki beiti beit lekol ha'amim. This is something we're saying again and again because my house, my house, like the God house, will be the praying house to all the nationalities. People from all over the world will come to Israel, to Jerusalem, and pray there. So this is, we're not like letting a nun you know we have so many people here from a lot of different nationalities um a lot of them are honestly also joining the army because they decided to protect the thing that they identify um they identify themselves as israeli but there are so many people who identify themselves as arab israeli druze israeli um christian israeli if we also like go into religion um why it's not working for the arabs countries around us First of all, I I just like I think that Israel is such a thing that people are just getting you like used to speak about. So this is why you hear again and again about Israel. But Jordan has this amazing places in it. Like have you seen Petra? This place is gorgeous. And Jordan, Egypt has so much history to it. And Lebanon has the best I mean the best food ever. But there's so many different places. Um, and different important things in the countries around us and I really believe that the only reason you don't hear about it is because the media is trying to use the Jewish people and the state of Israel um, to get more um, rating and stuff. Exactly why the only reason you think about the state of Israel as an all-Jewish people state 
because of the media. The media is not showing you um, Arab Israelis people. The, it, and I'm just like, I'm always saying like, why? There are so many people here. So many people who are not Jewish. Just like focus on them. So I hope I gave a little bit more explanation about this. I'm sorry if that looks like I'm like saying what he said was not true because like I, I absolutely love his channel and his videos and I'm learning a lot about your history. But when it comes to my people history, please get your information. Even if you're not coming and like, even if you're not going to hear it from me, please go and search for Israelis people channel. Jewish, <laughs> Jewish, Arabs, doesn't matter, just like Israelis and ask them those questions because listen to what they have to say, listen to our answers because maybe we as people who are actually living here and surviving everything that is going on here and all this crazy stuff, maybe we also know a little bit and maybe we can give you a little bit more like complex and um, more like an answer who is way more um, close to what really is happening. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for listening to me blabbing about my country. Um, but it is just, he has so many followers and so many people watching this and I just like, there's so many misconceptions about Israel and I absolutely hate the fact that people are actually, after that people are approaching me and talking to me and asking me questions based on um, things they absolutely sure there are facts but they are not this is the point of this channel so that we can communicate in a different level on a better level and that you will have your question answered by a person who is actually living in the place that you have a question about so thank you so much for asking um that question to abjit i love the fact that i would um i love the fact that i can just like let you guys know what is true, what is false, because yeah, there's so many misconceptions and I absolutely want us to learn about what is really the truth. So yeah, thank you everyone who watching this. If you have any questions, whatever, write down in the comments. Maybe I'll do a Q&A about it. I don't know. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next time. Later.